We are your morning X. Ticket windows coming up. We can get you into Sting. It's sold out, but we have your way in less than a half hour away. Barnes, I'm still shocked that we're talking about Oasis back together, Oasis fever, and they're coming here next year, Oasis Live 25 in the U.S., and 99X has an exclusive opportunity. We're going to let you pick the city where you want to go, New York, Chicago, L.A. We're going to send you there, round trip, VIP tickets. Uh, it hasn't happened on our show yet, mm. but it's going to happen all day, too. And I wonder how long it'll be before it happens on our show. I know. I don't know. I mean, if I were you, I would pay attention to this segment. Maybe. Can I just say, you think this is big? Wait till next week. What's next week? Even bigger. <laughs> no way. Write it down. Mm. Hold maybe it up. There's a, maybe there's a rivalry. Oh, I didn't say that. A what? Hold it up so I, Crash I and I... T- are you saying that we have another trip? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm show mm-hmm. us. Okay. No way. Are you serious? Is that for real? The fact that these two are back to back? That's ridiculous. Wow. I know. I know. (laughs) Fram has been, we're giving away money soon. (laughs) We're bribing you with trips. There's a theme here. Just listen. That's all it takes. It's free. Uh, Yesterday, um, our hearts go out to Florida. And unlike anything that Florida or any of us have seen in our lifetime is happening right now. Crash, keep keeping it up in the newsroom. It must be like completely chaos in there at 11 Alive. Yeah, and remember, we're talking about back-to-back disasters. Helene, there was still debris all over Central Florida, and now you've got Milton moving through, and it's it's not just the West Coast, it's Central Florida, the East Coast. Yeah, as soon as we get information from FEMA and our team out there uh, in Tampa with our sister station, I'm feeding it to you guys, and man, it's just... It's just all bad news, unfortunately. It is. And they're saying people's power could be out for weeks, maybe even over a month. That's why they had those mandatory evacuations. Here's the guy, Leslie. You mentioned the guy, um, the Miami John Morales, the weatherman. The meteorologist, yes. Th- I mean, this this guy has been through it all. I mean, he's probably in his 60s. He's been working there for years and years and years. Mm-hmm. Here's the report Leslie was referencing where he couldn't keep it together. Just an incredible, incredible, incredible hurricane. Uh, it has dropped. It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize. This is just horrific. I mean, that that sums it up. I mean, he couldn't even go through the entire report, and I understand why. When they talk about those millibars dropping, that's the pressure of the hurricane itself. And the lower it goes, the more intense Mm -hmm. the hurricane. And they're comparing it to Katrina. We're keeping up with it. We have uh, crashed a couple times an hour. We'll keep you fully updated with the latest details. Okay. Boomers. No, I'm not a boomer. I'm a Gen Xer. Crash, you're a Gen Xer, right? Uh, Yeah, by one year. By one year? Yeah, 66. Yep. Fram, you want to join in this game? Are you a Gen Xer? I'm a boomer. You're a boom. This is the first information we've ever received. <laughs> I'm a boomer. I, I mean, a I, boomer. But you know what, Barnes? I identify as a Gen Xer. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Did you just accidentally say that? Because you have never alluded to anything remotely around your age. I know. Because you're. Oh, yeah. I thought you were in your 40s. I mean, now I I'm, know. Well, I am, but I do. I really do. Uncle Fran doesn't know what to say now. I feel like a Gen Xer. No, (laughs) I'm not. Because I know we talk about the characteristics of all of these, and I, you know, I do identify more as a Gen Xer. Definitely not a Gen Zer. Uh, So, so wait, what year are you a boomer, Barnes? Well, if you were born 1946 to 1964, you're a boomer. Okay. Those are the boomer years. So, so Leslie, which year were you born in? We don't need to go there. Oh, okay. 64, right? But barely. (laughs) She was touching. Gen Xer. 65. 65 to 80 to 80. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Bad news, Leslie. What? Because there are seven boomer trends. And if you know a boomer, you know, be, be nice to them because there are things that are on their way out. What do you mean? Like boomers themselves. <laughs> like boomers themselves. We laugh. See, uh, no. Uh, no. What? What do you mean? What, what are you talking about? Eventually, this segment will be about Gen Xers crash. So hold your shame. We're next. <laughs> We're next after. All right. What's what's leaving us? Okay. Here are the things that are leaving. And one affects you crash. Okay. Oh. Uh, number one, formal living rooms. 
the whole thing, you know, when you go in a house and there's furniture that no one's allowed to sit on it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like that's that ridiculous. Type, those are going, yeah. and you see it already with newer homes being built. They're not even building those rooms. Yeah. Instead, they're building a studio or they're, they're building yeah. some sort of creative space. Yeah, I've, I mean, I don't think I've ever, in a house I've ever lived in, gone in that room and done anything. <laughs> I just sat there. I mean, I walked past it. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Um, Timeshares? Or on the way out. Yeah. I haven't heard about timeshares forever. Well, the older people are normally suckers. And, I mean, this is a, an industry that has been looked at as a scam for years. Mm-hmm. Years and years. So that, uh, And then uh, belt-mounted cell phone holders. What? Uh, Think about it. Who do you see with those? the thing that clips on the side? My fat old brother in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> so those are going away and crash. <laughs> cable TV and cable news... Okay, going, but you're not cable. You're not cable. You're broadcast, but We're still, broadcast, but I mean, still, that's a reality. Yeah, people are going away from like those big en- entities because they're getting their stuff. Where I'm getting mine on Twitter or X, but you know, I know what you mean. Social media, absolutely. To- Boomers are the only ones who get newspapers and watch cable news. It, I mean, it's proven. I haven't looked at a newspaper in forever. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised they still print newspapers. Do either of you... Yeah, I agree. And the, and now they're making the pay gates online, which I'm not going to pay... Oh, I mean, that's ridiculous. You can get the same story 50 other places. They exactly. need to be more creative, maybe. Why are do, people still doing I know. that? Do either of you in text messages do ellipses, dot, dot, dot? Do what? Dot, dot, dot. Like, do you ever, like type up something and then you put a dot 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 Mm -mm. no i don't not that i'm aware of which you know the iphone automatically does it when you're typing and then it's showing someone dot 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 the dots are going which to me means like in progress or more to come right right yeah like somebody's gonna respond yeah but apparently gen z they hate it check this guy out you know how older people tend to use the boomer ellipses whenever they're texting? There's always some random dot, dot, dot in the middle of their messages. Well, that's because they grew up following different rules for informal communication. Nowadays, if you want to separate an idea, you just press enter and start a new line with a new thought. But it made less sense to do that for writing postcards or letters where you had to save space. So people back in the day learned to separate thoughts by using ellipses. Same with early SMS texting. You were charged by the message. So it was simply more efficient to separate ideas within a single text. And boomers got used to that. However, with the rise of a limited texting, it became even more efficient to separate different thoughts with different messages. So that became the new grammatical standard online. And that means that the boomer ellipses became redundant, which is why they cause confusion today. Most of the time that comes across to younger people as hesitation, annoyance, or passive aggressiveness, because that's how we use the ellipses. But we should keep in mind that all the boomers are really trying to do is send multiple messages in the space of one message. Isn't that interesting though? You kind of learned something about those two generations trying to communicate with the same dot, dot, dot. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he he used the word annoying. He was annoying. I was just going to say that. I was like, hey, you know what? If I'm a Gen Zer, I got to talk like this because I'm trying right. to prove a point. Go out and do an honest day's work, you. Oh, crash. Ooh, I like crash. when I get I you lit it. up. But, but that, I mean, I look at that like a cliffhanger, and that's how I use it. Like, you won't mm-hmm. believe what da da da, dot, dot, dot. But anyway, so easy on the dot, dots because they're not Barnes. they're not translating. Just a few more. These things are going away, Boomer, so prepare for it. Uh, saying the date and time when you leave a voicemail or or any information. Saying the date and time? Yeah, because it's there. I mean, it's it's a digital stamp. You're right. You yeah. don't have to go, hey, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah. Here's my number. Hey, it's hey. Leslie calling. It's 946. <laughs> what? I haven't done that. I haven't done that. You don't that. say that. Hey, it's Leslie. It's 1040. Uh, Barnes coming up on the hour. It's 76 degrees. You leave me no. messages like that all the time. Uh, saying uh, home ownership, boomers are flocking to reverse mortgages. And so all the high cost of keeping up with all of that, it's making it go away. And you've got all these corporations buying up housing with 50-year payback plans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's going to... And big families. That you notice. Skipping forward to millennials and Gen Z. I mean, families at all. Absolutely. Like, it used to be... Remember when like families would have, like, three, four, five, six, seven people in the one house. Now it's like, nah, no kids, no nothing. Except for the kids that move back home. And then move back home and start the whole thing over. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> because those Gen Z and millennials are struggling with, you know, whatever it is, so they just default and come back. Anyway, just thought you'd want to know, if you're a boomer, I didn't know we had one on our show. Things are going away. They're leaving.